Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It's Thursday, June 11th, the feast day of St. Barnabas, the Bishop of Milan, apostolic father of the church, although he was not one of the 12 disciples, uh, but he, he, had, uh, he had very strong connections with them. Uh, he was also a missionary and a martyr as like all the early church fathers seem to be. Uh, he is often identified as the cousin of Mark the Evangelist, Mark from the Gospel, and then he traveled extensively with St. Paul. And also, what I read in my 365 Saints book, I read that he was originally named Joseph, but he was renamed Barnabas by other apostles, which means son of encouragement. So if he was named that by other people, he must have been a very positive guy, and he must have encouraged people to grow in their faith. Amongst all the chaos, it seems, I guess, because he is also the patron saint of uh, Cyrus, 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 Antioch against hailstorms, and he is also invoked as peacemaker. Boy, don't we need more of that. Anyway, so that's about St. Barnabas. Kind of a big deal, I guess, today. And today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 20 through 26. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. Oh boy, we've got the teaching about anger this morning you know there's a lot of angry people out there a lot of people need to read this verse you know but it says you know you know it says you shall not kill but jesus takes it a step further you know he wants us he teaches us to not even get angry which is hard sometimes um but jesus wants us to look deeper within ourselves to find the root of the problem and not just see the after effects. You know, we just see surface level stuff. Um, the media oftentimes just says surface level stuff. You know, we need to go below the surface um, and, 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 you know, not just find the, you know, investigate, but then also see the, what is going on within our hearts? And I think, you know, we're being forced to do that right now in today's society, but I'm not, that's not what this video is about. So, um, you know, so, so our, our goal and what Jesus tells us to do is to bring ourselves to the altar and to reconcile with whoever it is that you're angry with um, before it's too late. You know, forgive people quickly and then just move forward peacefully, um, not causing more, more harm and division and and, you know, tense feelings and emotions. Because we are emotional, as we all know. <laughs> Humans are very emotional. Um, but I think it's inter interesting, you know, not, not to ignore anything in this scripture. You know, you know, you will not be released until you have, you have paid the last penny, right? Meaning, no matter how small it is, no matter if it's a big deal or a small deal. And again, that's all the subject, that's all depending on who you're talking to. Um, but, you know, we're, we're kind of, Forced, we're presented here with a warning of, of the fate of unrepentant sinners uh, whenever it comes to God's final judgment within us. 
All right, that's what it you know it says. The severity of the judge in the parable is a warning of the fate of unrepentant sinners and the coming judgment by God. So we're all called to repent for any action that we've done wrongly, um, you know, because we we need to be made perfect um, before we are in heaven, and that's that's why Catholics believe in the pro the, the process of um, you know purgatory and stuff like that. Um, but that's again that's a completely different video. But yeah, that's the that's the scripture for today. And you, know, you know, the teaching about anger and just not to let it get to us um, and not to grow angry. And again, that's something that even I struggle with of getting angry with different things, uh, whether it be from the past or from the current. So that's part of the challenge for you and me. You know, who in your past or even possibly now has caused you to get angry and, and you still hold resentment or possibly even hold a grudge against them and then try to do something to, to help smooth that over and most importantly, smooth it over within your own heart so that you can grow in virtue to become, to become more like Christ and who he wants us to become. So that's the challenge. Otherwise, have a great, uh, whatever day it is, Thursday. Have a great Thursday, and God bless. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit, amen.